So this would be part one of a two-part video in which I try to answer the question, is it necessary to include direct abdominal training in your strategy? Is it necessary if all you did was train for performance and you don't give a fuck about how you look? And is it necessary if all you did was train for aesthetics and you don't give a fuck about how your body performs? So the short answer is yes. If you want to get the best results and maximal return on investment of time and effort, then the answer is yes. So in this video, I'll explain why that is as it relates to performance. And in the next video, I'll explain why that is as it relates to aesthetics. Now, as it relates to performance, a lot of people that train for improved performance, that just want to be stronger, they're always quick to suggest that their abs are doing a lot of work when they're doing the exercises that they do anyways. So when they're doing their squats or their deadlifts or their pull-ups or their chin-ups, their abs are working. Therefore, it's not a worthwhile investment of time and effort to them to include direct abdominal training into their strategy because the return on investment will not be very high or at least it's perceived to not be very high. But there's a couple things to take into consideration that should influence whether or not you want to include direct abdominal training into your strategy if all you did was train for improved performance. Number one, if the abs contribute to your overall capacity to produce force when doing the lifts that you want to get better at, would you not want to make them as strong as fucking possible? I mean, why would you not want to increase the strength or your capacity to produce force of all the muscles involved in the lifts that you want to get better at? Would it make you worse? Would it hinder performance? The answer is likely no. Is it guaranteed to make you better? The answer is no, it is not guaranteed. But having every single muscle be stronger, have a greater capacity to produce force, will not hinder or hurt performance. So why wouldn't you want to include direct abdominal training in your strategy? Now, another thing to take into consideration is that everybody's capacity to recruit their muscles will vary. Some people will have a higher capacity to recruit their muscles, others will have a lower. And this will vary from person to person and muscle to muscle. So if your capacity to recruit your abs is low or minimal, they will not receive adequate stimulation when you're doing the lifts that the abs are supposed to be contributing to in the first place. So when you say, yeah, my abs are working when I do my squats or my deadlifts or my pull-ups and my chin-ups, well, to what degree are they receiving adequate stimulation? Because if your capacity to recruit them is low, then no, they're not. And if they're not, but other muscles are, what is going to happen? They're going to become a weak link in the chain and they will ultimately become a limiting factor and it will prevent you from maximizing your potential as it relates to the lifts that you want to get better at. So you're going to want to find ways to increase your capacity to recruit those muscles and the way you do that is by fucking training them directly. Now there are exceptions to every rule. There are some people who don't need to train abs and they will excel at all the lifts that they want to do. But you should not be basing what you do off of the exceptions to the rule. If you want to maximize performance, you want to strengthen every single muscle that is involved in the lift to the best of your ability. And even if you didn't, you got to take into consideration that if your capacity to recruit the muscles that should be working is low or minimal, they will not receive adequate stimulation. So the answer to the question, is it necessary? Yes. If you train for performance and you want to maximize your potential, then it is necessary. If you like the information, share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep bringing you the best information you're going to find as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, improve performance, all that fucking shit.